very moving uh, tributes in the papers from Pat Edery's daughter, uh, Natasha, who's writing about the toll that his drinking took mm. on him and the family and, and how much how awful it was for them to watch him sort of falling apart and, and falling victim to drinking. It's, it's a problem in racing, isn't it? And uh, it was a, a very... She's hugely proud to be his daughter, loved him to pieces, but it was a very sad thing to witness happening. Thank you. Um, Dom, you know as well as I do the racing world. Um, I was really sad when I yeah. heard that used to be it's part. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the racing world as a whole, you know, even the guys who do a lot of work, you know, work riders, and, you know, they do it very early in the morning, don't you? They're all way underweight. Mm -hmm. They do it very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then the whole day, you know, it's, what do it's they a do? long old day. It you is, know, yeah. So. And, and, you know, and, and it's. Uh, you, you know, it's it's difficult. You know, an alcoholic. You know, alcoholism is it's very difficult sometimes to understand. But it, it you know, it, it is it is it is something that isn't nice for anybody. And and obviously the the, the stories in the paper today, the the, the daughters putting over about yeah. Pat Edry. It, it is. Look, I don't think it's just racing. It, it's a problem with people who've you know who've, who who have this you know addiction. And it's uh, addictions are, are terrible to try and. Uh, get over and and you wish anybody who goes through it all the best to, to try and get themselves through it and hopefully get on the other side. And I can't give any. I wish them all the best. That old weasel blatter in in bed. No chance. Six thirty. Good morning. Two minutes to seven o'clock. Let's say a very very good morning, Mike Vins, broadcaster and commentator. Mike. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. Morning, Mike. Morning. Mike, uh, firstly, um, sad, sad news yesterday, Pat Edry, really nearly knocked me off my chair, you know, really, really, did. so horrible news, horrible news. Yeah, what brought it into perspective was about a fortnight ago, I'd spent a, a bit of time with Lester Pickett, who was 80 just about a fortnight ago, and then suddenly you find Pat Edry loses his life at 63. Yeah. Terribly sad news, and of course, you know, only Sir Gordon Richards wrote more winners than Pat. Very, very sad news. Yeah. Now, um, and I'm sure there'll be um, uh, plenty toast to Pat over the weekend, especially uh, down at Cheltenham, the big, big open meeting, Mike. 